the newness in the Midwest compared to what um, we know in the Southwest United States where solar is evident on commercial buildings, on every types of residential. It's a little bit different here in the northern Midwest. It's uh, an, uh, an acclamation on the part of a, a, a market that uh, doesn't know what exactly how that stuff works. Is that magic? The sun comes down and hits this piece of glass and suddenly we have a I can turn on a light bulb in the house and, and so there's a little mysterious to it. With all of the incentives, from particularly our state incentives of no sales tax, no property tax increase, reduction of prop, of, of income tax, uh, the consumer starts to get nervous because they've all been taught if it sounds too good to be true it, it probably isn't true and yet um, there's a movement afoot uh, that uh, is trying to get greener energy and uh, in our market area it's the city of Madison Wisconsin that is is quite plentiful throughout the city in small pieces in little residential backyards it is one of the more dense solar areas in the United States because of the energy the um, programs that originate out of Custer Wisconsin with the Minas Midwest Renewable Energy have stimulated that and it's just the basis of the educated population in an academic type state. Uh, it's very confusing for a lot of people. Uh, do you help them through all these different programs? Yeah, I like to say I know the road to San Jose from here and how to get from here to there if you're willing. I can be a tour guide and uh, we can end up with uh, something on the other end that you ought to be happy with. and. Uh, in the form of making your own electricity. Just what we all kind of dreamed of many times. That looks like a thick file there. I hope that one's nearly being built. Well, he's, he's more than a, a approved for a number of grants. I've seen a few farms in the area that are uh, getting the solar panels. Do you work with them too? Agriculture is part of the uh, Midwest, always at the heart of it, and uh, certain types of agriculture really use a lot of electricity, particularly dairy. They use it in many forms and uh, so they, there's not unusual for a typical dairy farm to have a two to three thousand dollar a month electric bill. Why would I do that? I buy it from the electric company. Well, the electric company has a forever debt on wherever you live because it's that payments due every month and just try going a few months without paying it. And so, yeah, it can get, it get pretty cold and dark without paying that, doesn't it? <laughs> cold and dark, yeah. Yeah, the idea of not having to pay every month forever to an electric company that have been having annual rate increases of five, six, seven percent compounded. The federal programs, uh, depending on whether they're in that business or commercial area or agricultural area or whether they're residential. If they're residential, the programs are a two year worth of tax credit of 30 percent of the project cost. In the case of commercial, it says that you get a 20-year tax credit letter equal to that 30 percent of the project cost um, and you have 20 years and if you don't use it for five years you still have um, all of the remaining dollars amount for the last 15 years. So. Well, additionally we have programs for small rural businesses and a third program and through the United States Agriculture Department that services farms and small rural businesses small rural businesses or any business that it's in a town under 50,000 population and doing less than 7 million and are having less than 500 employees. So that's that's most of what we have in northern Illinois, northeastern Iowa and southwestern Wisconsin. So those programs today